You understand? Take it out. Hey Siri. Yeah. I told you guys anticipate, anticipate, anticipate. I'm basically I'm sure it's coming this late, but we have to put a lot of things together. And um from the earlier clip you saw, you should know what you're about to see. Actually, this is my first tech reviews, and I hope you see more, much more. But for today, we're going to begin the review on the iPhone 10, actually, but we all call it the X. But um, let's stick to the 10 for now, because that's what Papi said, we should call it. So, that is what we have here. It looks different from what you might probably have seen. Normally it comes with this black ring, but I had to make mine white because I love the white. So I went for the white. This is the white, the 256 gigs version. As you could see, this whole place is stainless steel. But before I do that, let's check what came with the box. Basically, I think there are basic stuff that normally come with those people that use Apple. No, I say that because normally friends who know me would actually think, what's this guy doing with an Apple device? I am a Nokia person. I love Microsoft devices, the Windows one, but I tested Apple devices and I would say it has been a fantastic idea. But basically, I took the box. So, getting the box opened, normal leaflets you see, welcome notes, Apple sticker, blah, 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 blah. So, let's keep that aside. Okay? So, yeah, this is basically the sticker to cover the device. And um, this is like the earphones that comes comes with it, and have the dongle, so you could actually use the old earphones because this doesn't come with the headphone jack. So we have the USB cable. So it's actually dead now. I'll be rocking it for like a month. Then um, we have the normal wall charger. Nothing fantastic about this. So let's just keep this aside. Huh? But basically, this is how it looks. So let's keep it aside. Now we're coming. Oh, sorry, I think I left something out coming back to the main device and this is it so what is it about the iphone 10 mm, let's start with specs 3 gigs of ram apple a11 bionic chipset which is the fastest processor on a mobile device on it right now then uh, we have the normal home button now we just have the face id and uh, face id has been fantastic like as you can see my phone just popped up on i see my own face and Generally, the device has been a brilliant device, no lag, no stutter, no hangs, and the battery life has been fantastic. But I think I'll take that one step at a time because I know you love, you guys are going to ask, what's so fantastic about this device that it costs so much? Yeah, actually, it's the $1,000 device, and it's actually cost. But um, being a pricey device, you should expect a whole lot from it. Now, build quality, I think this is one of the most fantastic build qualities I've seen in devices. Coming from a Nokia point of view, we all know Nokia gave us fantastic build qualities, but this is just on another level. We have glass front and glass back, and Apple claims this is the hardest glass on a mobile device. I, I haven't dropped it, so I can't tell. But I'll say that, uh, for jumping right into it, spec-wise, we have a 5.8 inch screen on the body that is almost as small as normal iPhone 8, iPhone 7, iPhone 6, iPhone 6X. But as you can see here, the screen is edge to edge, like the whole face is all screen, and we just have this little notch here that a lot of people have been complaining about. But I would want to see it from the design point of view that I think Apple saw it and that's why they did it. It's mind boggling when you see your screen, it's like the screen is pushing every sensor to one corner. So basically, it's like you have a bubble. On the screen and as you can see it's night and this screen is this bright the screen is actually so bright i could basically stand a couple of feet away and i could still read what you're doing even on that direct sunlight so that's one fantastic thing about this device the screen is awesome the screen is magnificent but outside the screen coming from the android world or the windows world the apps on an apple device are awesome they just have better builds than any other platform you could ever find and everything just works with each other uh i'll come to the 
things that I don't like about the device. Actually, there are very few. But for now, let's stick to the things that I still love. Yeah. It's a water resistant device. And I made a couple of underwater videos which um, will be coming up. So basically the camera on this phone is fantastic awesome it's this one basically you pick up your device you want to do something and it does it so i think uh, you guys must have seen a whole lot of videos online about this device so i shouldn't say so much or uh, let me now go to the things i don't like i think the, the only thing i don't like is the money spent on this one <laughs> it's actually on the high side but i'll tell you something if you have the money you want a great device that you would not regret having go for this device and then some other things that people might complain, I don't really see as an issue. I see it as I'm trying to simplify things for us. Is that every freaking setting you want on this device is in one place on that settings. It's so sad that even in your camera settings, you have to come to settings to edit every freaking thing. But I find it convenient in a way. I don't all the apps go in one pattern you want to edit a setting you go to settings that is why it is settings come on so um basically i'm loving this device that's what i'll tell you guys for now and i would say for those of you who know using apple devices that um you don't like it it's restricted and all that i could basically send songs to my phones i could basically now with ios 11 you have a file app which I can link to my Beat OneDrive. Let me show you guys something. Beat locations now, as you can see, I have one one OneDrive, iDrive on my device. I could add my Google Drive and everything. Now, let's not start talking about the features that make this device unique. One that I love so much. As you could see, these are my notifications. You could see I have notifications, but you can't read anything. But the moment I look at the device, it recognizes me. Now you can see the notifications and the details of the notification. That is one. And secondly, it's a seamless device. I pick up my device, I swipe up, it's open. It's almost like I have no password on my device. Or you picking up my device and trying to do that. You can't do that. The list, the list is endless and we could also talk about the animojis animojis are yeah, basically um the phone trying to mimic my face you understand so if we are doing this for instance okay now this is an animoji so what it does i hope the cameras can get me as you can see it's following my facial expression like wow wow hmm. so i have different faces yeah oh yeah 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 so i could actually change all that faces make faces and you send it to your friends so basically that's all about animojis yo everybody anticipate my reviews are coming up straight up 
it kind of the same damn sound so then yeah! i'm new to imessage and i would say i'm loving imessage for now for those of you that have been using it i'm not happy with you guys you didn't tell me it was this line since imessage is actually awesome those are just some of the will i say novelty features of an apple device but like the animoji is just strictly restricted to the thing so um for other novelty features i hear uh, some people from the Android world and we don't call names say things about the pen drawing. I have a drawing book here, coloring, which I can use to color stuff. Then, um, what else? Whatever I need to need, it just it's my only one device, everything is here. Then, when we talk about the camera, like I said earlier, this is the only phone I think available right now that can give you 60 frames per second 4K videos. I don't think any other device can do that right now. Can also give you slow motion videos at 1080p and i think 240 frames a second i don't think any other phone can do that and um for the camera specs also we have dual cameras here 12 megapixels and both cameras are both um optical image stabilized then we have uh, four led flashes of dual tone then um, which other thing do we have yeah finally apple supports fast charging and wireless charging that's basically why we have the glass back so all you need to do by uh, wireless um charger is not here right now you just place it on your wireless charger and it's charging no wires no plugs nothing so these are some of the novelty features and what more can i say you just have to have own one to feel one and um if you want to get one you could always contact me i'll get you for a good price from the best place and for the browsing speed, as you can see, uh, I think this is the best network in Nigeria now when it comes to LTE. Glow just rocks. See, proud of it, man. Proud Nigerian, proud of our own brand. Glow just rocks. LTE, the speeds are fast. As you can see, we are indoors and the coverage is full. So, and this phone does something that I really don't get. When other phones stop browsing for network being poor, this guy finds a way of browsing. and. I can't remember the last time you browsed with Edge, right? I could actually browse with Edge here when I get to some remote places because of the nature of my job. I could go to some remote places, but Edge T cuts it for me. So that's basically it. I have novelty apps, as you can see. And if you could see, I have so many apps. I have like 140 apps here. And I don't think we're seeing any lag on this device. Things just fly. And also, let me take you through some of the gestures of the phone if i'm inside an app for instance i swipe up to go back home if i want to switch between apps i could actually just scroll through the bottom of the phone see i'm switching between apps seamless then as you can see no lag jump straight back and also you can imagine the number of open apps on my phone and still no lag no lag no lag i could jump into this app straight up boom it's up that's the power of the apple a11 processor and i think i wouldn't say i've regretted using this device for the past one month and okay that's basically it you guys should expect more from me uh i think this i'll review this for you next it's actually a smartwatch so you guys should anticipate the review for this and if you like what you see give me some likes this is what i love doing gadget tech i have a whole lot bag stocked up with a whole lot of gadgets and please just do it for me and let us all be happy thank you very much